Hello guys and welcome to a new gameplay video In this video I tried to record a hand cam but sadly it failed miserably Most youtubers place their device on the table in a fixed position So it's easy to record hand cams for them But in my case I hold my iPad like I'm holding a baby And I move my hands a lot And it may seem like I'm using gyroscope but I don't That's just the result of my intense focus in the game However there was one fight in the start where the hand cam was a bit decent so I'm gonna add that But the rest of the game is pretty much a showcase of my blanket so I won't be adding that. Nevertheless, this game was intense. It was pretty much a solo vs squads game because my teammates landed in another spot and they got killed right away. I was actually planning to get their tags but they left the game. And I want to take this chance to answer a common question from you guys which is why do I play with randoms and why not solo? The reason for that is for the past two or three seasons whenever I play solo squads I get a lot of bots and only three teams max. It's not always the case sometimes I play solo and I still get a lot of enemies but playing with with a full squad of randoms guarantees facing a lot of real players and even sweaty clan players that I never meet when I go solo. So overall it's more fun and challenging and it's easier to record good games for me when I play with randoms. And most of these games I end up fighting alone anyway. So in this game I had a good start but the mid game was the best. Where I went in to fight two players and I ended up facing a lot more. Enemies just kept pushing me one after the other and mostly with shotguns. I also challenged myself not to use any loadout guns in this game. So I'll be using a ground loot RUS and a ground loot M30. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Let's get started. So I landed in Rivertown and I had my first fight here against a full squad. And this is the only fight that had a decent hand cam angle. Down. Enemy eliminated. Next, I went to upgrade my class but there was a squad waiting for me there. And these guys wanted to kill me so badly. And they kept chasing me across the map, it was like I owe them money. I, I want my money! Where's my money, mother And when it comes to getting pushed by multiple enemies at once, it's extremely risky. Despite the skill level of the enemies, together they can outgun you and kill you no matter how good you are. So to avoid that risk, my plan was to take them to a place where I can move around and split them apart. And this building right here was perfect. It had two floors to move around and an easy access to the rooftop from the inside. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. After that, I headed towards the green airdrop to get some kinetic shields. And while I was there, I heard some shots nearby, so I went in right away. And this is where the fun began. It all started with two enemies, but all of a sudden, other enemies showed up from nowhere. And the funny thing is, they ignored each other and focused on me. It was like I had a bounty on my head. The airdrop is coming. Engaging the enemies. Down. 
Another one. At this point, most of the sweaty squads were eliminated. So I took a motorbike to scan the area for the remaining enemies. And since it was an open area, the motorbike helps with pushing the enemies without being exposed. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. I try to make another hand cam video in the future, probably with a better camera. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.